Hey everybody, welcome to Octopunk Weekly Update for May 25th. It is a very, very busy day. Everyone and their brother is streaming, but thank you for joining me for Opwu because we've got a big unprecedented announcement today of something that we have never done before. Oh, or do we, do we also, are we also starring Austin's legs today? Yes, we're also starring Austin's legs, considering that it is a Memorial Day and some people have off. <laughs> Which I never have off. <laughs> Ah, thank you, John Hale, for subscribing for six months with... Oh, I don't even think it's Prime. I think you're just a subscriber. That's wonderful. Thank you, John. Yes, Austin Legg. Um, we have we also have the usual updates, Patreon, uh, Fan Art of the Week, YouTube, and Twitch, especially because we've got some really cool stuff coming up on Twitch this week. Um, some stuff that was canceled last week and also stuff that uh, is new. So we'll get to that in a sec. How's everybody doing today? Happy two-year anniversary to Detroit Become Human. Um, and also about that, stick around to the end of Apu. We will be raiding Quantic Dream, um, and I'll tell you more about that that when when we do it but uh quantic dream just launched their channel just now <laughs> at two o'clock so uh they'll be doing a lot of cool stuff over there they have surprise guests and everything i know leon ockenden norman jaden is one of them so we got to go represent norman's nuns and we'll be doing that at the end of the stream too unfortunately my contacts are very like weird today and it, i'm having a hard time reading the chat <laughs> all i see is colors um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get to this week's news. If you are a patron, there's some cool stuff to look forward to this week. Uh, I've already posted the first draft of the Detroit Evolution script today, and I, I saw some people in Discord talking about that. Um, oh, and thank you, Lil Lion, for raiding with a party of 19. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for supporting Lone Lion. Their art is amazing, and they're an amazing person. I've been using their tarot deck quite frequently now. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Come on in, come on in. We're just getting started. So on Patreon this week, uh, like I said, we've got the first draft of the Detroit Evolution script for $1 patrons. Uh, this is a really different version of the film. Uh, I've seen some people really enjoy uh, comparing it to the final version, and that's already up today. And then on Friday, we have our first reel of audio outtakes. So these are outtakes and bloopers that were not caught on video, but were caught on the hot mic, caught on audio. So that's that is coming on Friday. And that would wrap it up for May. Next uh, next Monday is June 1st, I believe. So you'll get all of the information on what's coming to Patreon in June on Monday. All right. On to merch. So we do have a continuing line of merch. Our bisexual Valerie Pride design is now up on Redbubble. This is a continuing series of characters that are from Detroit Evolution that are uh, <laughs> that are in the Pride flags. And I believe that Valerie could easily be bisexual. She uh, expresses affinity for both Hank and Tina. So you can hop on over to Redbubble and check that out. And as I mentioned last week, uh, my book Paradisa is now available on my Etsy store. Basically, I have a lot of paperbacks uh, that uh, of Paradisa, which is my contemporary fantasy novel through Falstaff Books. Um, this is a book that's been out since January and is typically available through Amazon. Uh, however, with the COVID shipping stuff and manufacturing being down to essential services, it's kind of difficult to get your hands on a hard copy for like less than $70 right now. And I've got 15 copies laying around my house doing nothing. Uh, so I figured I'd put them up on the Etsy store if anybody wants to get themselves a paperback i will also sign it for you if you choose so that's a good way to get your hands on that the shipping is a little pricey because it's a you know it's a pound it's books are heavy um but it's not too bad it's definitely cheaper to get it through me still than it is to get it through other other places or at least faster uh, you might have to uh, wait a couple weeks if you try to order it through amazon and i think falstaff might not have copies anymore i know a lot of people have been ordering through falstaff and i think he only had like four or five uh so yeah and thank you for all the love for paradisa in the chat chunky books is online it's really not it's like eighty thousand words it's it's a it's a fast read but man paper's heavy trees man <laughs> thank you raymond for subscribing with prime 
on Twitch this week. As I mentioned last week, uh, we are starting a playthrough of The Last of Us Remastered tomorrow, Tuesday at noon Eastern. This is a blind playthrough. I have never played this game. I have never watched this game. I am completely unspoiled, aside from the fact that there's Joel, there's Ellie, there's zombies. That's all I know. So this, if you love this game, might be a way of vicariously experiencing it again for the first time. Uh, I will be playing the remastered version on PS4, and like I said, that'll be starting tomorrow at noon and we haven't this is the beginning of the playthrough so so you'll be joining us from the start on thursday uh, i'm going to go back and do this dream that i was supposed to do last thursday and that is crash team racing on the switch the form if you want to race with us is up on my twitter i'll also be reposting it on instagram you can find it on tumblr as well um, this is a form if you have the nintendo switch and you have crash team racing on the switch uh, you can join us for a race so if you're interested go sign up in the form and we might race with you on thursday night and then on saturday i'm going to do the Detroit Detroit Evolution set life behind the scenes chat with JJ Goler, uh, our lovely production assistant. And of course, you know him as Lotso Fratello and our mod. He did so much for us on Detroit Evolution set. And uh, he has lots and lots of stories. And we have a lot of behind the scenes pictures that he took as well that you guys haven't seen before. So we'll be sharing never before seen behind the, behind the scenes pics from the set of Detroit Evolution and also sharing some stories uh, from the set. So that'll be a lot of fun, that discussion with JJ at noon on Saturday. Day. Yes, hype for JJ. And thank you, Becky, for the bits. Hype for JJ. Yeah, I, I don't know what exactly we're going to do for that yet. As, uh, specifically, I haven't picked out the pictures yet, but uh, I know that there uh, there might be a couple of videos too. I know that there were some videos that both of us took on our phones that you guys haven't seen yet that are pretty fun. So we might we might throw that in there as well. There'll, there'll be a few surprises. It'll definitely be worth checking out on Saturday. This week on YouTube, we're continuing our series of Austin's music. Woot, woot. <laughs> woot. woot. <laughs> on Thursdays, as usual. And on Friday, uh, we're going to be catching up with last week's Patreon video, which was a reel of unused footage from Detroit Evolution. This is like a seven or eight minute reel of good takes uh, that just didn't make it into the final film and alternate takes of stuff uh, that I think you guys will really enjoy. Patrons could definitely attest to there, there being some really awesome stuff. But there's actually an entire uncut take of the rooftop that you guys have not seen any of because the lighting was so dark we weren't able to use any of it in the film so it's a raw uncut like two and a half minute take from beginning to end of the rooftop that's included in that so you'll be seeing that on friday on youtube and if you haven't already seen last friday's video i posted a behind the scenes of the reunion scene that one you really get, you really seem to love as well. It was uh, how we set up that scene, and also a side by side comparison between uh, the f the first take and then what was going on while we shot it. <laughs> All right, what else we got? Ah. Okay, so I've, I've been doing this a little, been showing you, it, it, speaking of unused footage, I've been showing unused pictures um, during each op woo. And uh, this week is pretty cool. This is a shot of Tina and Gavin that is an extension, I don't believe this was actually in the film, um, of them in front of the window watching nines. It's sad. I have to, I, 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 all of these turn out so angsty, but it's a very angsty film. I try to, <laughs> the unused footage reel on Friday is very, very sweet. There's a lot of awe stuff in that. So we have to do angsty today. I have to save the angsty for today. I, I love the lighting as well, Deb. I mean, Brett, he's, he's an absolute god. So yeah, there's that. I'll probably be posting that on Instagram and stuff uh, later. I might also, I had one last week that I showed with Ada and Nines at the bar that I haven't posted yet. So I might be posting like both of them today because um, I just haven't gotten the chance to actually post the one from last week. All right, so I think you guys have waited long enough uh, for what the big announcement is going to be. Um, this is something that we haven't done yet at Octopunk. Um, it's something I've wanted to do for a really long time, um, but with everything else, especially with Detroit Evolution, it was just really difficult to get it together. Um, but now I think the time is right. I think 
with the generosity that you guys have shown to us over the past year, it's about time to give some of that back. And considering that June is Pride Month uh, and the stars just all sort of come aligning uh, at the same time, I figured that next month is the perfect opportunity to do our first charity live stream. So on June 13th, 2020, from noon to 7 p.m., so it'll be seven hours, we're going to host a charity live stream here on the channel to benefit GamerX. Uh, there's a lot of great LGBT charities out there. There's the Trevor Project, It Gets Better Project, um, a lot of ones that are very, very well known. Um, but GamerX is a little bit more obscure and also really speaks to what I want to represent as a company and a lot of values that I have. And that's representation of LGBT characters and developers in the gaming industry. Uh, GamerX hosts a convention centering and elevating LGBT game developers um, and games about LGBT people. Uh, they also do scholarships and send people to the GDC uh, conference. They send LGBT developers to GDC. Um, they also uh, do a lot of uh, advocacy work um, for representation. So all of these things uh, are really, really, really cool. Uh, there are a lot of things that I support and that I want to help. And I think that, um, you know, considering the size of our community, what we can raise will really go a long way and will really make a difference to them. So Look forward to that June 13th. It's a Saturday. Um, so basically, you know, all day Saturday. I have a lot of programming that will be really, really fun on this. Um, I'm still getting the details together. So more information to come. We have a couple, like three or four weeks to uh, figure out what exactly is going to be on that stream. Uh, but I will say that one of the things that I do want to focus on uh, in that stream is bringing on guests who are LGBT themselves, um, collaborate past and present of Octopunk and also new people who you maybe haven't uh, seen before and maybe aren't aware of yet but need to be uh, and yeah so so I'm, I'm really excited about that I think it's gonna be a lot of fun I will say right off the gate um, because you haven't gotten to know Jillian Gertz very much uh, because she has been working a lot during the streams that we've been doing so far I'm gonna definitely try to bring her on for like a one-on-one -on -one Q and a for like an hour um, so that'll be really fun we might play some Jackbox um, yeah, so like I said, I don't want to promise anything yet, but more information to come for sure. <laughs> yes, hype for Jillian in the chat. Jillian, of course, plays Ada in, uh, in Detroit Evolution, as you guys know. <laughs> Joe's freaking out about Jillian, of course. I'm glad Joe's here to hear that. And yeah, it'll be it'll be all day. So, you know, it starts at noon, goes to seven. So hopefully, um, you know, all time zones can pop in for at least a little while during that stream. <laughs> On to my favorite part of every Apu, fan art of the week. I picked a lot of art this week. There was a lot of wonderful stuff. And I was like, you know what? I'm not holding back. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to pick all kinds of stuff. Oh, and thank you, Bananas, for giving out a Tier 1 community gift sub. So first up, um, Yellow Salamander Art Olga, as usual, absolute god tier. Uh, but this is a still of Chris and Maximilian from, of course, that BTS video that I posted on Friday. Uh, this is just, it's like, it's like it was etched over the actual image, but I know that that's not how it was done. <laughs> the fact that there's so many details in that leather and veins and everything else is just absolutely unbelievable. So please visit Yellow Salamander Art on Twitter and Instagram as well. Uh, Olga just does incredible work and has a massive collection of wonderful art that uh, they've made for Detroit Evolution so far. Um, as always, Astral Dawn, I can never resist Dawn's work. Um, Dawn is quickly becoming one of my favorite artists in the entire fandom, uh, this being no different. Uh, there's been a lot of interpretations of the scene and they're all beautiful and I never get tired of seeing them, so keep it coming for sure. Please go visit Astral Dawn on Twitter and I believe Dawn is also on Instagram and possibly Tumblr as well. Sometimes they come and hang out in the chat, so if they're in the chat right now, give them some love for sure. Ah, there they are. Hi. <laughs> 
Don, I swear to God, like every week, it's just like, God, I keep picking Don, but I can't stop. It's all amazing. <laughs> Our friend Makachino had an amazing Ada painting this week. Uh, Maka is another one who I, I really can't resist every time. Uh, Maka's art is just absolutely, absolutely incredible. Uh, so definitely go check Maka out on Twitter and Instagram because Maka is just... Uh, and and I, I love seeing the the love for Ada as well. I always the Ada art is always just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Jillian translates so well to to the medium of of drawing. She has just amazing features. I have to laugh. This is by um, Marchonia. Uh, <laughs> the sticker of of Chris Miller. Wait, are they gay? <laughs> Um, I absolutely love this. Um, you can you can visit March on Tumblr. Uh, I think March also had um, uh, Twitter. I think the, I saw this on Twitter, Instagram. Um, so go check them out there as well. <laughs> um, this is this is probably my favorite art so far of this iconic moment. This is this is absolutely wonderful. I almost I, I almost wish I could have a sticker of this because this is just <laughs> I would put it on my laptop. Oh, Tumblr only. It was also in Discord. Thank you, March. That's where I saw it. I saw it in Discord. Dream of Outer Space posted this dope uh, nines in heels drawing. And of course, with a little bit of nosebleedy Gavin in the bottom corner there. <laughs> Um, this was inspired, of course, by the Lotso outtake uh, where Nines walked away with one of Lotso's heels. But uh, if you haven't seen Maximilian in the heels, he did it in costume. It's on Quasar Cosplay's Instagram. If you scroll down far enough, you can see the old pics from last year when we did it. So go check out both the Lotso outtake and uh, JJ's Instagram to go see both of these things. I always am a sucker for art of myself. <laughs> Thank you, Maru, for feeding my ego with this cute purple uh, drawing of me. And I also love that Ibahibut's octopus chan has become canon, that we're just accepting that I have this little octo buddy who's purple and sits on my head. <laughs> Um, I don't even want to call that one Iggy. That one, that one's got to be different, right? Like uh, Octopus Chun. I love it. Um, but yeah, this is actually a whole comic. Uh, I didn't include the whole thing because I want you to go to Marafuk and, so, and, and follow and check out their actual Instagram because it's multi-panels and it's really cute. It was like this whole like 10 panel adventure of them trying to, to find purple to put in the, DB, or the, the DE rainbow. And I happen to be purple myself because it's my color. That art person on Instagram drew this side-by-side -side of both Maximilian as Nines and Maximilian as Seth from Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, there was a couple of portraits of Seth this week, which, which are all really amazing. I, I love to see the synths art starting to ramp up a bit because synths is coming to you guys in August and you'll be seeing more and more about it throughout the summer. Um, but it's just really, really awesome to see the, the range of Maximilian in this side-by-side -side of the two very, very different characters he's played for us. And I can't wait for you guys to actually see this come to life and see it for yourself. Naiko Draws has had some amazing art for weeks now, and I'm glad to finally be able to include them uh, this week with The King of Trash and Smiles, a somewhat dark and gruesome portrait of Gavin and a lot of android body parts. <laughs> yes, Polish squads is Ardenite. Yes, this one. Yes, you guys have seen this one. This one is absolutely incredible. They capture Gavin really, really well. Um, and, and definitely check out their Instagram. Like I said, they've had um, some amazing stuff for weeks now. Um, and I'm glad to, to finally have them here because they have a really great portfolio and a really imaginative uh, capture of Gavin and Nines as well. All right, I gotta just explain. So GamerGal on Instagram said that this was made in Minecraft and that this took seven hours. I don't even know how this was done. Yes, Gamer Girl, it is you. This is, this is nuts. This is, you should be very, very proud because, oh my God, <laughs> it is metal. It's awesome. 
it is I, I really don't even know, like, logistically how this was made. So uh, props to GamerGal. Go check them out on Instagram. This is not the only one of these they have done. They also have one of Chris Miller, too. So visit them on Instagram. See that one, too. Give them lots of love and follow. Because the sheer patience of this, and not only the patience, but the fact that it looks that good is just unbelievable. So shout out to Gamer Girl, Gamer Gal. Give them love in the chat, because right there, yep, Gamer Gal OM right there. <laughs> Yes, be shook. This is amazing. And our last fan art of the week this week is from Bada Bamboozled. I always am a sucker for things that have amazing lighting, and this is no exception. Definitely go follow them on Instagram. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't really know what to say other than the fact that just bask your eyes and how pretty this is. Um, I, I, when people have a command of light like this, it just absolutely blows my mind almost as much as making pixel art in Minecraft. Um, so definitely go check them out on Instagram and give them some love as well. As always, I like to end with our PO Box 62762, North Charleston, South Carolina, 29419. I'm still checking the PO Box mm, weekly, every 10 days, something like that. I'm going to the post office tomorrow to check it. So we will see uh, if there's anything in there. I will give you an update if I find anything. And if you are waiting on me to find something in the PO Box, let me know and I'll keep an eye out for it. Uh, hopefully the mail system isn't too crazy right now now um, because of all the COVID stuff. I've also been shipping merch and everything. So if you ordered merch last week, um, all the stickers are shipping out tomorrow. Today's a holiday, so there's no mail. Um, all of the stickers are shipping out tomorrow, as well as um, anybody who ordered a Blu-ray of Live Scream. That's all shipping out tomorrow. So uh, look forward to that. And then thank you as well to everybody who's been ordering from Redbubble. Uh, it seems like I, people are getting their stuff from Redbubble pretty expediently. Um, I have no control over that. Of course, I only have control over the design uploads. Um, but as far as uh, Redbubble and Etsy go, uh, thank you for checking out our merch stores and supporting them. Oh, Ardna, you ordered the mug. That's right, you ordered the uh, the best friend partner force of my life you can't live without mug. I feel like that's just the, a perfect design for a mug. Like, there's tote bags and stuff you can get with that, but it's, it's really a mug design more than anything. <laughs> it's talking about coffee. It's talking about coffee. A force in your life you can't live without. It's coffee. <laughs> All right. Well, we've been going for a while, and I think that that's all that we have for this episode of Apu. Definitely join us tomorrow um, for The Last of Us on Twitch at 12 p.m. as we start our journey into the blind playthrough of The Last of Us. And keep an eye out for more information about that charity live stream coming June 13th for Game Gamer X Foundation. Um, as of as of for now, uh, we are going to go ahead and raid Quantic Dream. I uh, just want to say, once we get there, please don't self-promo us. We want to support them. It's DBH's second anniversary. So if you want to say anything, just say, Happy Birthday, DBH, or uh, Happy Birthday, Quantic Dream, I suppose, because it is their first stream. They are launching their channel today. So just yay, Quantic Dream. That's also cool. Um, but yeah, no mention of Detroit Evolution, no mention of Octopunk. We're not self-promoing. It's not about us. We just want to support them and show love for the fact that it is the two-year anniversary of the game that has brought us all together and that we probably would not all be here uh, knowing each other and supporting each other without. So let's do it. Let's set it up. This is my first time ever doing a raid, so like, let's hope this works. <laughs> all right.